Hey, how's it going guys? You're hanging out with me, Braskar, and today I've got a project for you. Recently, I got a green screen. Now, when I ordered this off of Amazon for like 30 bucks, I thought it was going to come with a stand for some reason, but it turns out it's just an enormous sheet of green screen. I mean, this is actually only like half of it, and it's very janky at the moment. Um, so if we come down to the back side here, well, there you can see... <laughs> It's just huge. It's absolutely huge. And what I have right now is I just have a piece of wood up here. And this wood is getting stuck right inside of... I don't know if you can see it. But there's a piece of wood in here that's getting jammed into my closet. And that, in turn, is making all of this stand up. So, it's working alright. But what I really want to do, guys, is I want to actually just mount it right up here to the ceiling. So if I can mount it right here to the ceiling at kind of an angle so that it matches all the cameras and stuff over there, then I'll be in good shape. So, that's what today's project is. We're going to end up going to some sort of store, I don't know, probably pick up some PVC, and then, ooh, ooh, and then we're going to build some special brackets, right? You guys have heard about this, but you haven't seen it yet. This is my 3D printer. Okay, it's got some weird stuff hanging off it, but that's all right. I'm pimping it out. But, yeah, so this is my little 3D printer. We'll print some special brackets, and that's what we'll mount whatever it is we're going to get to the ceiling. So, that'll be cool. So, uh, that's today's project, hanging up the green screen. Let's get started. Alrighty, so I just got back from the store. Got some drywall screws here. I say drywall on them. Inch and a quarter. Also picked up a one and a quarter inch in diameter by ten foot long piece of PVC. It's not the stiffest thing, but compared to some of the other options, it seemed to work out based on the length and height. So now, I have to design some brackets that go around this PVC so that it can mount up to the ceiling. So let's go do that. Alrighty, so now we're in the design phase. I've got my pipe here. I've also got one of the screws and a trusty ruler. So, one of the ideas that I have right here is I want to take the pipe, which is going to be right in the center here, and then I want to allow this clamp here, this will get bolted to the ceiling, but this should allow this pipe to go in and out. You know, so once I've mounted up to the ceiling, I could then take the pipe and just go click, and then put it in there if I want it to be. I also want it to be loose enough though, to where I can actually physically turn it with a, a mechanism if I come up with a mechanism. So, a couple of design parameters, that's the goal. Let's see what I can come up with here in SolidWorks. So I think at this point I pretty much am happy with the design. We could print it off and try it out and see how it works. Um, there's some other things I could do to kind of soften up the edges, which I think I will do. So let's go ahead and just do some finishing touches here. I'm just going to knock those corners off. I don't really want to go more than 45 degrees because then it's going to have a hard time printing it and I run, I run risking it. I could match the angle between the bolt pattern here and that would be a little bit more aesthetic. but. I am not going to try that because I'm going to be printing it, looking at it, just on this profile right here. That way, when these, when the print's going down and the material's laying down, it's going to be laying down on this arc right here. And that's going to make that nice and strong, and it also is going to allow me to flex it. If I was printing it from the top, I would be layering it, or I'd be cutting it, you know, like right here, side to side, and that would make that material weak, it wanted to split apart. So I'm actually working with the grain of the printer to get a better result. All right, so there we go, that's the part. Let's go ahead and export this. We'll put it into the printer software, so let me get this thing all booted up here. So what I'm gonna be using for the printer is Repeater Host. That is my transfer software, and that's going to 
connect to the actual printer itself and have it start working. This is going to be the grain of the material that's getting printed out. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six different paths is what it's going to do right there. And that will allow the material to hopefully flex but not break. Because flexing something along the grain like this, I mean look at it, you can, you can stretch it all day long. But if you try to go against the grain, it gets really tough. Or it tries to break. You know what I mean? This should be a pretty strong part. As long as the design's good, then this will be this will be perfect. So let's go ahead and fire up the printer, get it warmed up, and uh, I'm going to move this camera to a time lapse. Alrighty, so I just got the first part here off the printer, and it came out it came out all right. You can see it; it looks pretty good right there. Um, did do a little bit of a weird print, kind of on the edge there. You can see it. That's it was placed like this, and I guess maybe it had just something to do with the heat. It was trying to curl up a little bit right there, but the other end wasn't too bad. But I think it worked out. The big key part, though, is that when we take this and we look at the pipe, we can see it right here our uh, PVC pipe and we just go to clamp this on a little bit of force and it snaps right into place and um, it's pretty it's a good fit it slides real nice and you should be able to take the pipe straight out of it <coughs> a little bit of force just like so alright so I now completed both of the brackets and I also realized if this is flush to the top of uh, my ceiling there's a good chance that the fabric might actually come up and try to scratch on the ceiling a little bit, which might catch it a little bit and maybe fray it. So I have a couple of these little um, shims that I'm going to throw underneath it. They're just 10 millimeters, and they're actually they're so thin that you can see right through them. You can see the support material. So that's kind of interesting, but they're a lot thinner than this, so it actually almost made sense to somewhat print them apart. But anyhow, that will go on the bottom there and give it a little bit more of an offset. And... Uh, I'm going to throw it up just like this so it should be right across and it'll be up by the fan and everything. So let's go ahead and mount it to the ceiling. in place and it looks like the fabric is not catching on the ceiling so luckily it doesn't seem like I'm gonna need those spacers it just droops enough aha there we go one green screen coming right at you I could probably tweak it a little bit probably move that side bring it forward a little bit but you know what? It's not bad. And since the light coming off of that fixture right there is like right in the right in a good spot, it's pretty evenly lit. Hey, we did it! Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you found this little build somewhat interesting. I think that's the end of it. More or less, I might just go back and screw it back up so it's kind of out of my way. And just hope it doesn't fall down. Maybe one day I'll put a motor on it. That'll be kind of cool. But until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. Brathgar. Out.